dosing interval. If a drug X is given by a continuous intravenous infusion, the plasma concentration of this drug will rise smoothly over time till it reaches to a constant steady state concentration after about four half lives. However, if the same drug is given by a single daily intravenous injection, its concentration will rise sharply to reach what is called a peak of a plasma concentration. And then, the peak is followed by a period of a gradual decline to reach the lowest plasma concentration, which is called a trough concentration. If the drug has a narrow therapeutic window, the peak might be in the toxic zone, or the trough might be in the ineffective zone. With repeated once daily injections of this drug, the peak and trough rhythm will oscillate over the continuous infusion curve till it reaches the steady state pattern. If the same drug is given intravenously twice daily, the magnitudes of the peak and the trough will be smaller, the fluctuation will be smoother, and the risk for reaching the toxic concentration will be weak. If the same drug was given by the oral route, its concentration will have a similar pattern to the IV route, but with more blunt curves and less sharp peaks and troughs, till it reaches to a constant steady state pattern. Therefore, from the pharmacokinetics point of view, the more frequent the dosing rate, the better the pharmacokinetic properties of the drug. But a human is not a machine, and psychologically, it is not well tolerated for a patient to have so frequent doses daily. And for the vast majority of people, the once daily dose is the best, especially for chronic use. Therefore, the best approach for chronic administration is the once daily dose of a drug that has a wide therapeutic window so that both the peak and the trough will fluctuate within a safe and effective range of therapeutic concentrations.